first of all, this is my first favorite. I'm obsessed with pickles. Anything dill pickle flavored, I'm there. Best Lay's in the world. It literally tastes like Big Mac sauce. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my current favorites. These are the products I've been loving in the past month, and I got a lot of goodies to share, so let's dive in. First of all, I want to kindly thank Merit for sponsoring this video, because Merit in general is such a cool brand. Besides their formulas being really good, their branding in general, their aesthetic, it's so good. And I personally first discovered the brand a few years ago, like scrolling through Sephora, <laughs> and I had purchased one of their Flush Balm cheek colors, this one actually, in terracotta, and I fell in love with it. Their blush are so so good and I actually have a couple favorites from Merit to show you guys plus we created a little custom gift set so that you can shop my favorite products on their website and you can save 15% if you do all you have to do is shop through the link and you can save some money and you know what my favorite part is you know what my favorite thing about Merit is <laughs> if you place your order for the very first time on their website look at the bag that you get I am obsessed with this and they give it to you for free when you place your first order I love free stuff I swear this is so freaking cute and I'm obsessed with the color and the way that it feels it's such good quality that's seriously is so amazing and I love that Mara does that. I just, I can't look how cute, I cannot. It's so cute. Plus you get free shipping over $40, which is awesome. So some of my favorite products in the little gift set, which is, you know, why I chose it for the gift set, is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I've only been using this for a few weeks and it is so, so pretty on my skin. Honestly, it came highly recommended from my friend Andrea when she purchased it during one of their sales. So I was so excited to try it out because me and her have like very similar skin types. But honestly, I feel like even if you have oily skin, you might really like this serum because it is so lightweight and it absorbs like this. It's fragrance free, safe for sensitive skin, and honestly I really like it because it doesn't leave a residue behind. It's not too greasy or oily and I really feel like it doesn't disrupt my foundation on top no matter what foundation I put on. And I love to press this product into my skin. I do rub a little bit but I mainly like press it in to really get my face to absorb the product. And I honestly do that with like all my skincare. I really pat it in and press it in. It's got caffeine rich cacao seed extract that's really gonna like wake up and plump. It is truly such a nice serum and I cannot wait to keep using it. It. And then of course we have to talk about their flush bombs because not only are they <laughs> adorable I love these. I love this packaging. Their stuff is so fancy and elegant I'm obsessed. I love seeing my merit stuff like on my counter But the formula of the flush bombs are really nice and I'm currently loving cheeky for this time of year I think it is the perfect fall and winter blush because it has a little bit of everything It's like pink and mauve with a little hint of berry, but still looks so natural on the skin That's what I really love about merit products. They are so incredibly natural, but really easy to build So if you want a lot of pigment you just have to do a few layers and it still looks so effortless and beautiful it truly doesn't take much to blend this formula it just blends like a dream you could honestly do your makeup so fast with merit products because they're just so natural I also really love this little lip combo I'm wearing right now I have my lip liner on but on top of that I'm wearing the merit lipstick in baby I love that name. This is just their signature lipstick, and honestly, they're really nice. Super creamy, very pigmented, good stuff. These lipsticks are also very buildable, by the way, and hydrating. They have like squalene, vitamin C, and good like nourishing stuff. Definitely not drying whatsoever. And then on top of that, I have the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in Jet, and I love this one. It's the most beautiful sheer rose. Honestly, you can apply this all day. It's so lightweight. Everything about Merit is so lightweight, but this is so soft that it really doesn't feel like you're wearing an oil on your lip. It's not thick or sticky at all. It's very effortless and just it gives you just enough shine and it feels so comfortable Like you're barely wearing anything and I truly just love this color because it's like a sheer pink That just adds a little touch of something to your lips and I swear lately I have really been falling in love with lip oils I don't want matte lips anymore at least not till summer So yeah, those were some of my favorite little products in my gift set Thank you so much to Merit for kindly sponsoring this video I really 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 appreciate it and I love working with brands where I truly fall in love with their products So thank you so much and now let's keep it going because I have a lot more favorites oh yeah like this palette I completely fell in love with this palette guys I did not expect to love it as much as I did and I have been using it so much so this is the fall romance palette from Anastasia and it has the prettiest colors for fall and I really love this color story because I feel like you get a lot of different colors but they're all so natural and so wearable like there's nothing too crazy in here but you still get like greens and purples and this super amazing eyeshadow right here called crown that I love to apply like on top of everything I'm actually wearing crown on my inner corners right now because it has this really intense screen like reflection and I felt like it matched my shirt so I used it as my inner corners but I was wearing this eyeshadow palette in a recent TikTok video and so many of you guys were asking me what was on my eyes it's the fall romance palette love it so much especially these shimmery shades I'm wearing smoke like on the center of my lid right now and it is 
so pretty. I love this palette. Definitely one of my favorite Anastasia palettes in a long, long time. But I also have to give a huge shout out to this guy because it's so affordable and so good, guys. This is so good. This is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette that they made like in collaboration with like Marilyn Monroe. I wonder, is this like a collab with like her family, her estate? Like how does that work? Let me know if you know. <laughs> but this little palette is incredible. The formulas are so good. Every single one, honestly, feels like I'm using Anastasia eyeshadows. They feel so high-end, and I was wearing this on my eyes in this video right here that I posted on my TikTok, and this color all over the lid just looks so beautiful and elegant. Oh my God, this is like a wedding eyeshadow palette. Like, I swear, this is stunning for a bride. It's so good. Perfect for every day, so natural. This shimmer is a perfect inner corner highlight. Honestly, this is great. And if these colors and tones work for your skin, you are going to love this. Pick it up. Desi, I love this. I know that you're not watching this video, but <laughs> the Skin So Balm Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm from Desi Skin is so, so good. This is literally a tongue twister. It took me five minutes to say that. I love a makeup melter or like a makeup cleansing balm that comes in a tube. The ones in the tub are great. I like them. They get the job done, but oh my gosh, is it so satisfying to squeeze it out of a tube so you don't have to like Nobody likes doing that, okay? And bro, this is like the only makeup cleansing balm that melts away this shit. <laughs> this is the Sala, I, I'm not sure if that's how you say this brand. I automatically just think of a living room. But this is the Sala Mascara, the Nostalgic 90s Mascara. This shit is waterproof, intense, volumized. This stuff is good. Really, really good, but really intense and does not come off. And I personally don't love mascaras like that. Like, you already know my ride or die, my go-to is the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. That's my number one because it's a tubing mascara. I mean, it's incredible. But it's also a tubing mascara and it's so easy to remove. This is not so easy to remove, but it is intense. And if it wasn't for this, I don't think I'd use this. But thank God for this. <laughs> this melts away waterproof makeup. This melts away everything, dude. You have a full face of glam and this shit will remove it on just one massage. I seriously love it so much. Shout out to Desi. Something that I didn't think I was going to love as much as I do. The freaking road. What are these called? Peptide lip tints. These road peptide lip tints are so good. So, so good. Especially these two shades. I also really, really love the raspberry one. But toast and ribbon, precious. These are so good because of the formula. Like, yes, the colors are lovely, but oh my gosh, this formula is so nice. A lot of the times, these glossy bombs will separate on the lips and they'll just like settle into the lines. That's just kind of like the name of the game. Especially for lighter colors like this. Most of them settle into the lines. I don't know what's up with this sorcery or this magic, but the formula is so smooth and the pigment is so even on the lips. I was truly so impressed with this formula. Like, I love them so much. And yes, I have to reapply throughout the day. They don't last forever, but it's a freaking gloss balm. You know, it's not a liquid lipstick, so I don't mind. I throw it in my purse, I reapply, and the formula truly is so good, and these colors are precious. I seriously love these. If you want to see me swatching these on my lips, go check out my TikTok. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, if you love cream highlight, like if you love to highlight the crap out of your face with creamy products, but you don't like the heaviness or the greasiness to some of these cream or liquid highlighters, look no further. This is more magic. This is more sorcery right here. This is a little duo from the KJH brand. She is a super talented, beautiful, amazing makeup artist, Katie Jane Hughes. I have loved her for so long and I've been so inspired by so many of her makeup looks. I love her. And she recently launched a brand and I was tickled when I found out because, I mean, she's such a talented makeup artist. I knew her brand was gonna be good. And this little duo is amazing. So this is the Hyper Shine Light Pigment in Light Copper, right? It's just your cream highlighter. It has a really beautiful golden glow. And then you have the Hyper Shine Serum. This is a really interesting product. It's a little serum and it's not oily at all. You would think like, oh my God, you apply the serum to the cream product to like really like warm it up and make it all serumy and liquidy and shiny. And you would think that that would look so heavy on the skin or you would think that it would at least disrupt your makeup underneath as you're applying it and it doesn't. It applies so beautifully and looks so glowy while still being lightweight. It's incredible. And it comes with this little brush for you to apply, which I'm not wearing any, so I'm gonna throw some on right now. I'm gonna show you how this works. So this is gonna last you a really long time because you only need like one little drop. Maybe that was even too much. And I'm actually really excited to use this with other liquid highlighters I have, like cream highlighters. But yeah, just take a little drop, mix my brush up in there, and just lightly apply. <sighs> so beautiful. This shade is a bit too deep for me, like as a highlight. I use it more as like a topper, like a nice glowy bronzy topper. But if you have a medium skin tone, oh my gosh, this is gonna look amazing. It's just so glowy, so stunning. And it's just so wild to me that it doesn't affect your makeup underneath. Okay, I just added some of that to my nose. 
nose and actually to the center of my forehead. Do you see how that just added such a gorgeous, like super glossy, dewy look to the skin? But when I rub my fingers on it, I like barely feel it. It's so lightweight. And of course with this product, you could like really dig the brush in there and get more pigment, like more color. But since this is a more bronzy shade, I like to add mostly the, the glow, if that makes sense. I love it. Speaking of something else I love, my freaking nail color. I mentioned this on my stories on Instagram, but I have never gotten so many DMs and so many questions asking me what nail polish I'm wearing ever in my life. I've gotten so many DMs. It is insane, so I thought I would share the combo with you today. Obviously, I'm wearing Light Slacker nail polish, and I've been seeing these cherry mocha nails trending everywhere. Like, this is the fall color, winter color right now. All I see is cherry mocha, cherry mocha, cherry mocha, and Anai recreated that cherry mocha look with some of our polishes, and then I copied her. <laughs> she basically did one coat of Scorpio, which Scorpio is a super, super pigmented, like, deep black cherry, so you really just need one coat of this, and then you go in with two coats of Lady in Red. And honestly, that combo works so well because this is a jelly polish, so it has a sheerness, it's a little bit transparent, and on top of that, it's like extra shiny because it has like that jelly finish. So two coats on top of this creates the most beautiful, beautiful cherry nails. Like cherry mocha nails, like Coca-Cola, literally like cherry Coke. And it is so freaking stunning, I'm obsessed. And so I just had to mention that. I will link Light Slacker down below. We have amazing nail polishes, and if you haven't checked them out, you definitely should you will not be disappointed. Oh my gosh, am I obsessed with this. If you guys saw my perfume haul, you would have seen me talk about this for like half a second, but the Zara Nocturnal Life perfume is everything. It is everything. It is Christmas dreams, fall and winter dreams. Oh my gosh, this smells like apple pie in the best way, like sexy apple pie with a little bit of like sugary caramelized apple like dripping on top. It is insane. And if you guys didn't watch my video, this perfume is actually a dupe for Killian's Angel Share, which that perfume is like over, I think it's like almost $300 or maybe more. And that perfume is really good. It smells like apple pie, lasts forever on the skin, but it does have a little bit of like a rum note or like a boozy, it has like a boozy quality to it, which is really hit or miss for some people. Some people don't love that. If you are one of those people that don't love that, but you still want that apple pie vibe, like that booziness, it kind of throws you off. You will freaking love Zara Nocturnal Life and this is like $40. Yes, it doesn't have the projection and longevity as Killian's Angel Share, but it does last a decent amount of time. This was actually my thing Thanksgiving scent. I mixed it with my Maharlu perfume that's like a cinnamon cherry, but it's mainly this, mainly this, and I love it. I hope that they come back with it like every holiday because I don't want it to go away. I love it so much. And then this bad boy. Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough of this, guys. Seriously, if you only get one thing from this video, have it be this. <laughs> So this is Vanilla Skin from Fleur. They recently launched like three new hair and body fragrance mists. And bro, Vanilla Skin is everything. <sighs> it is 10 times better than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh, you know, another vanilla. No, it is so, so good and so cozy. Literally the epitome of a cozy vanilla. It's this. And I love the name they picked for it because it really is like Vanilla Skin. There's something that's just so warm about it. I'm obsessed with it. And I love that it actually lasts. I didn't expect these to last that long because they're a body mist, but this lasts a decent amount of time on the skin. I've gotten so many compliments when I've worn this, and the best thing is you can just throw this in your purse. They have two different sizes. This is the little one, but I love this. I wear it to bed every single night, and I still smell it in the morning. This is my new go-to bed scent. If you ever think about, hmm, what does Kathleen smell like when she's cozy in her bed sheets? It's this. Not a single one of you has ever had that thought, but just in case. Okay, and now I wanna talk about fourth wing. <laughs> I wish I was like that girl in the book and I can summon the book. Hold on. Relax, I didn't say any names. You don't know whose power is to summon. Sorry about the lighting in here, by the way. The sky is black. So I read Fourth Wing in November and I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I thought it was super entertaining from start to finish. I was actually hooked from the very first uh, chapter. However, Comma. I personally don't love it as much as I loved Akatar. Now that is me like jumping the gun and I am like prejudging this because to be fair, I didn't love the first Akatar book. It wasn't until the second one that it literally blew me away. Like I enjoyed the first Akatar book, but the second one was like like truly the best thing I've ever read. A Court of Mist and Fury, nothing will ever compare to me. And I was on such an Akatar high when I started this. I had just finished A Court of Silver Flames and I jumped into Fourth Wing and I think I didn't give it enough time in between the books because I just kept comparing this to Akatar the entire time. Honestly, there's a lot in this book and I don't want to upset anybody because I know there are die-hard fourth wingers. I mean, I loved this book. Okay, don't get it twisted. I love this book. I love Zayden. I was so entertained. I loved it. Okay, but <laughs> I did feel like a lot of this book was very inspired by A Court of Mist and Fury. A lot of it. And I could be wrong. I could be wrong. 
But I don't know. There were so many things that I was like, I've read this before. <laughs> I know a lot of things are common in the fantasy world and I haven't really jumped into the fantasy world in depth. But I, I did find myself comparing them and I shouldn't have done that and I should have given it more time because in my mind, in my heart, nothing will ever come close to A Court of Mist and Fury. And that's okay, because this is not supposed to be. This is supposed to be its own book on its own, which is why I loved it and I enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. If you are into fantasy romance, I think you'll really like it. Yes, there are cringy moments. Like there are some moments in this book, like some of the things Zayden says, God bless. Embarrassing, embarrassing. But that's because I'm, I'm gonna be 32. And Respectfully, you know, Zayden is 23, so it makes sense that I find some of his things cringe. But aside from that, I loved the action in this. Action packed, I love the romance, and I really, really loved the very last paragraph. I was like, <gasps> once I finished the last paragraph, I was like, oh my god, okay, now I really want to read Iron Flame. No spoilers, please, but I will be reading the second book soon. I am like officially part of the House of Wind book club. If you don't know what that means, please read Akatar. <laughs> and I'm just like, books, 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 books. I want to eat up books. So, is this something that you guys want to see me talk about every single month? Like the book of the month that I liked or something like that? Let me know because I will keep including them at the end of these favorites videos if you like this. Okay, guys, that's it. Those were all the products I was really really loving this past month so many goodies here please let me know if you check any of these out and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your top favorite of the month was and if I haven't checked it out you bet your ass I will but that completes this video guys thank you so much for watching I love you guys so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye